this is Kim. I have five patterns to talk to you about today in part two of my long sleeve top roundup from Love Notions. from Dorothy's Daughter, welcome to my channel. If you like to take your sewing to the next level, you are in the right place. Love Notions is having their great sale today. It's 40% off of the whole site and the only thing excluded is the Arlington because it's a brand new release. And this is October 18th to 22nd, that's when the sale is, of 2021. All right, so just so you know if you're in the right time frame or not. We also, I have the opportunity as a brand ambassador to nominate someone from my social network to be entered into the drawing for the serger or the sewing machine that they're giving away. Details about that are on their site, but I, also the person who was chosen will get a free pattern. So all you have to do is go to the links I give you each day, fill out your name and email address and what pattern you'd like. No purchase necessary. This is not sponsored by YouTube. This is not even sponsored by me. This is all sponsored by Love Notions. Okay, so uh, there are five parts to the series this week and every with every video I'm giving you a link so you'll have five chances to enter, okay? And you may enter once per video. All right, I have five patterns to talk to you about today. Several of them are my favorites, and a few of them, there aren't very many that I haven't made, but there's a few, and um, we'll get to that. All right, so first I wanna to talk to you about La Belladonna. This is probably my most frequently made uh, Love Notions pattern, and that's because it's easy to wear, easy to sew, quick sew, does not take a lot of fabric, and a few other things for gifting. I like it as well because it's a loose fitting top, so it does not need to have exact measurements to fit nice. So if you have a guesstimate of where somebody is, you could probably make a La Belladonna for them. More so than some other patterns anyway. So I'll just show you a few of mine. Now these are not long sleeve, but they certainly could be. Um, these are short sleeve. I also do wear these under jackets sometimes. So you can do banded or not. Short sleeve, long sleeve, super easy, fun sew. All right, let me show you a long sleeve one. This one is the tunic version, and I just love it. Um, this fabric is cotton jersey blend, which is really nice for that pattern. A little bit drapey knit is nice for La Belladonna just because it <clears throat> a little bit of a drapey fabric is nice for La Belladonna because it does have a little bit of a flowy quality, especially if you put the band on. All right, I love the tunic. Um, this is a great a great top. I've probably made this as a gift for people. I don't know four or five times. Um, this one as well. This is a rayon spandex. This one is double brush poly. So it just depends on what you like, uh, but I would stick with things that are a little bit drapey. Any mid-weight knit will work. Um, cotton Lycra, ITY is really nice, if you, especially if you do the band, because it's got that flowy, drapey quality to it. And this pattern is also available in girl sizes. So you could be match your daughter if you want to, all right, or your granddaughter, <laughs> or your niece. <laughs> so, um, Great pattern, one of my favorites, a wardrobe staple. It's a dolman sleeve. Um, you can do banded, straight, short sleeve, long sleeve, cuffs, no cuffs, um, it runs the gamut. So enjoy that pattern because it's really one not to miss. The next one I want to talk to you about, people get scared of this one, but there's no reason to be, the Breckenridge. Breckenridge is a Henley and it is just a basic Henley top, wonderful top, long sleeves you can do with cuffs, has several different views though, you don't have to do long sleeves, but um, I think that it really makes up nice in long sleeves. A lot of color blocking potential with Breckenridge. This comes in sizes extra small to 5X, so it's got the updated sizing, so it's very, very size inclusive. This is also a wardrobe staple, and I think the thing I like the most about Breckenridge 
is the possibilities for color blocking when you can do the trim and cuffs a little bit differently and um, there's a lot of potential there and, and to get playful with the buttons also on the buttons that you don't have to make buttonholes if you don't want to you can uh, just sew them on because the neckline is definitely wide enough to not need those buttonholes all right, uh, for as far as fabric goes, this is a cotton jersey blend. Um, it breathes, and I like that in a long sleeve top. Um, you can do double brush poly. Uh, I would stick to a little bit mid to lightweight knit with this. Just nothing clingy because it's going to be um, fit a little bit uh, closer to the body, so you don't want it, anything that will cling. All right. A great top. Wardrobe staple, again. Many of these long sleeve tops are wardrobe staples. I don't know what your favorite top is so far, but I just don't have a favorite. I have certain ones I like for certain things. Like I love La Belladonna for gifting. I love it for under jackets. I love the classic tee for all the things that I can do with it. I'm wearing one today. Um, I love the, the laundry day tee for the ease and the, and the swinginess of it. My favorite thing with my laundry day tee is to make a bathing suit cover up. So each pattern has a lot of uses and it's um, just up to your lifestyle on how you do that. All right, I'm gonna move on now to Forte. So Forte is a great pattern. It's been updated with the sizes um, extra small to 5X. Forte has a ton of use. There is the flowy kind that with the empire waist and is seen down the front. I actually have not made any of those views yet. I want to, but I have not done that yet. Those I think are beautiful with ITY and something a little bit flowy like I talked about with La Bella Donna. Um, any cotton jersey, any double brush poly, um, cotton jersey, ITY, rayon spandex, something flowy. And I just think that that pattern is just beautiful. Those views are beautiful. But what I've done are the um, view A and B. So this is a short sleeve one I did with a little flounce sleeve. You can also do the flounce sleeve on a three quarter length version. Um, I suppose you could probably hack it onto a long sleeve version as well. Wonderful top. It's a basic t-shirt um, fit and you could use any t-shirt knit for this really. Um, Double brush poly works really well. This is cotton lycra here. It's this top I've had for several years and it's still one of my favorites. Love Forte. Now the other Forte that I made is a lace one and I did the ruffle on the bottom with this one um, and on the sleeves. Um, I love it. And then I made a summer basics tank to go underneath it. And this one is just an incredible beautiful dressy top this is a stretch lace sort of a lightweight stretch lace that's definitely appropriate for this pattern um, you could use cotton lycra again now with these ruffles though you don't want to use anything really heavy you want to stick to uh, lightweight to midweight knits um, you need to have a little bit of stretch okay on these so lovely pattern you can't go wrong with it and there's so many different views you can make so many tops and not have them be alike at all if I were going to rate a pattern as far as versatility and with all these long sleeve tops with love notions all these possibilities I think Forte would probably be my number one choice because there just are so many views and you can do so many things with it um, um, and the, the sizing is very inclusive and it'll take on the characteristic of whatever fabric you choose I love this one in stretch lace. It's probably one of my favorite tops that I've ever made. So, Forte. Now I want to talk about two that I have not made, but I have to include them since this is an overall view. But I have made uh, the girls version of the Maggie peplum, which is the same as the Margot peplum for adults. So let me tell you about Margot a little bit. It comes extra small to 5X. And you can do princess seams or not. And you can do a gathered skirt, a circle skirt, or a pleated skirt with it. So it's a really cute little peplum top. This um, one is appropriate with mid to stable weight knits, I would say. Wouldn't use anything really, really lightweight because of the structure of the peplum, especially the pleated view. 
it would be as beautiful in a Ponte as it would be in like a cotton lycra or even um, a double brush poly. I would not make this one in an ITY just because it is more of a structured top. So, uh, but what a lovely top. And, and what I like about it is it's a little bit body conforming, meaning that it, if it fits properly, it can be very, very slimming. Rather than wearing baggy clothes, it actually makes you look slimmer if something fits and it's contoured. So I think that this one is, I don't know why I haven't made it yet. As I'm doing this, I'm thinking, and why haven't I made this top yet? Um, peplums are just a wonderful way to dress. So I think this one would get an A plus from me, not having made it, but I know if I did, I'd love it. And finally tonight, Tabitha. Tabitha is one that does get talked about a lot, but um, it's a gorgeous pattern. It has a lot of color blocking possibilities. A little, a little shirt detail that you can add to the bottom of it and you, there's a lot of possibilities with lace and color blocking and all kinds of beautiful things with the views of the Tabitha. I think Tabitha is a little bit similar to Tara, um, but it has a little bit more style choices to it. Now as far as fabric for Tabitha, um, it needs to be a 20% stretch, um, so a, a little bit more stable knit actually would work. Um, I think that you want to stick to your um, little bit heavier, like cotton lycra, um, do some double brush poly if it's a little bit heftier. You don't want anything that's going to be super clingy. Mm -hmm. Some ponte, if it were lightweight enough, you could use that. Just a really, really pretty possibilities with that pattern and um, the stretch lace would be also really nice for the color blocking as well as the um, shirt tail so there's a lot of things you could do with Tabitha all right the, the sizing on that one is extra small to 4x it's it's one that has not been updated as of yet I'm not sure if that's in the queue to be updated yet or not but I would suspect it probably is so I don't know why I haven't made that one yet. Uh, I guess that there's got to be a few that I haven't <laughs> because I think I've made almost every other one. So, so anyway, that is Tabitha. So now I'm going to give you the link to go and enter the drawing, okay? So you want to go to, now there was some confusion yesterday. Some people couldn't access the link that I gave. So I want to be sure that you can access it. Um, so pay attention to the spelling here, okay? It's Dorothy's Daughter dot info. I think some people might have been putting com, but it's info. Dorothy's Daughter dot info, and then the slash, and then classic T, all one word, but the C is capitalized and the T is capitalized. Okay, and that is going to take you right to the uh, entry form for part two. All right, so go ahead and enter on Friday at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to be on Facebook Live on the Dorothy's Daughter Facebook page, and it'll be public. I'm not going to do it in the group because it, I, it needs to be public. And I'm going to spin the wheel and see who gets nominated from my social network to win a pattern and also be entered into Love Notions giveaway. All right. Thank you so much for everything, you guys. I'll be back with some more uh, long sleeve tops, and um, we still have a lot to go in this series, so stay tuned. See you later. Happy sewing.